My body is an instrument. As an actor, I need to take care of both my mind and my body. Acting is everything to me. I was born an actor. I'll die an actor. Hi, my name is Santiago. I'm originally from Killy Beggs in Ireland. Still got the accent. Yeah, I've been an actor all my life, really. Even before the age of nine, when I got my first job fronting those television commercials, I was the face of Desert Baby Diapers in the 90s. <laughs> Such fame at a young age, I mean, <sighs> yeah. Being a child actor, reinforced my life's passion to, to act, to perform, to entertain. <laughs> <sighs> Things got a bit tough after that though. I spent most of my teenage years in rehab. But I'm still here, still acting, right on the cusp of breaking back into the industry in a major way. It's important to be in great physical shape, especially in this industry. I do all my own stunts. You've got to be ready. And I'm always ready. I do a 10k every morning. Piece of piss for me, really. I'm a long distance runner, me. I can go for hours. Oh. <laughs> Oh, watch where you're going, you fucking wanker! So that's the morning routine sorted. It's not a patch on what I do in the afternoon, believe me. Just wait till you see. Oh. Sugar anyone? Got sweeteners? Got any plant-based milk? Plant-based milk? Is she checking a lot? <laughs> Open the door, Mr. Onions! I know you're in there. Open this door now, you fucking idiot. I'll be back with a court order and a battering ram. Dickhead. Who was that? Ademus. Jehovah's Witnesses. Very keen these days. Being a child actor is hard. I mean, it's a lot of responsibility at such a young age. I smoked a lot of weed back then just to cope with the pressure, you know? 
I mean, when you're a kid, you think you're invincible. I remember when I was doing those wet dream commercials for desert baby diapers. You know, I thought, this is it. You know, this is my big break. And then it all fell apart. <laughs> there was a leak. Not with the diapers, I mean, they were top quality. No, it was, uh, well, the CEO of Desert Baby was spending a little bit too much time with the kids he had working in his sweatshop. So, that was it. I mean, people still recognise me on the street, of course. You know, I mean, I've done loads of other shit since then, but it seems to be Desert Baby is what they know me from. And they go, oh, were you that guy on the TV? I'm like, yes. And they want to have their photograph taken with me. They ask me to do the catchphrase. Yeah, <sighs> From a toddler to your teens, Desert Baby says goodbye to wet dreams. It's all about that rift at the end. I've always been an actor. Ever since I've been a kid, I've been doing funny voices and saying my favourite lines from my favourite movies. Red Run. Red Run. <laughs> I remember as a kid getting in trouble with the teachers all the time for saying that. <laughs> well, I didn't care. As long as the kids were laughing, that's all I cared about. I remember telling my mum and dad that I was going to be an actor. My dad walked out of the house, never saw him again. My mum said, over my dead body. She died a couple of months later, so I thought, why not? This is embarrassing. Look at that. Celebrity spotted. <laughs> Bloody paparazzi. Never leave me alone. Santiago, can you tell us more about the bathroom scandal a few years ago? Oh, no, no, no. That, that, that wasn't a scandal at all. No, no, no. That was a signage issue. Yeah, because I did bring it up with the producer at the time and the company who provided the port cabins. You see, the sign was in a very dimly lit area. It was very, very small. So how was I supposed to know that it said ladies on it? So I subsequently entered the cabin and I mistook a sink for a urinal. And, well... I went on to relieve myself, and to my horror, a woman emerged from one of the cubicles. She started screaming at me and throwing bog roll at my head. I remember thinking, has she never seen a cock and balls before? Oh, oh for fuck's sake! Oh, how am I supposed to know what? 